Hey guys, it's JJ here coming at you. I'm gonna try something a little different today. I don't have a whole lot going on here on the farm. We are currently playing Cherry Hills by Stevie. I did a little bit of a stream on it yesterday, just mowing grass, and I'm gonna do a little bit more on it today. So I have my Fent 700 series. It's the max track, the max power tractor that you can have on it, and the default in-game header behind. Me. So we're gonna turn this grass into hay, and then we're gonna come back with a merger, a new windrows, and we're gonna come back and bail it so that I can start feeding some cattle. I know this isn't the luxury or lovely part of farming simulator to watch, but you know what? Everyone else cuts these parts out. Quite frankly, it's part of farming. This is what you do some days for weeks on end. You cut grass, you move grass, you bale grass. It's not always perfect. I will do a lot of the in cab view because I enjoy the in cab view. I actually have the mirror set up on this tractor for the most part to where I like them. That's why a lot of the guys that are on the server, which I'm currently playing on, which is Buckshot Server, you, uh, Probably won't see them running this one, they'll run one of the other tractors. I'll be in it most of the time. So a little bit about myself, I've been around Farm Simulator since 2013 came out, well around the end of 2013 I should add. I really didn't get into very much modded back then because I didn't know much about it. Uh, slowly started finding the mods and really started to enjoy the game. When 15 came out I actually had it pre-ordered and had it on release day. Uh, Started playing that one for a while, played Westbridge Hills for a little bit, played quite a bit on Deer and Home, then I started looking for more mods. I think the first map that I ever played was... It was a Canadian map. I didn't play it for very long, I just couldn't get into it. I enjoyed it, it just didn't have what I wanted to. Um, I started watching Twitch streamers and I found Oli the Viking, who is currently busy with work. But it's a really good Twitch streamer. Started watching him. Uh, he was playing on Pleasant Valley 2. So I downloaded the map from his Dropbox links and I started playing Pleasant Valley. Well, needless to say, I've now played Pleasant Valley all the way through. I've played Hemp Valley, which was a remake of Hemp Valley, or of Pleasant Valley, sorry. I played that one almost all the way through. Uh, that one was a little ridiculous on the shipping port needing 100 million to get where we almost had the concrete factory built. But we needed a break. So I've been playing with these guys multiplayer ever since. Uh, they let me in on Westbridge Hills which was kinda nice. Did a little bit of that vanilla then I joined their multiplayer server on uh, uh, Pleasant Valley and been with them since. Well, I'm backtracking a little bit here. I'm just rambling on. I can keep you guys a little bit entertained while I mow grass. I guess tether grass, not really mow grass. But uh, we started playing Rivers. I was really enjoying it. Um, I really like the cattle aspect of Rivers. Because for those that don't know or haven't been watching me, I do, I'm starting slowly to help the guy that I currently work for build a cattle farm up on his property. And my grandfather, years and years ago, like 10 years ago now that he passed away, had a small beef farm 
of three, four heads of cattle. More chickens than anybody could ever want, but if I ever had it my way, that's exactly what I'd be building on my own property. So, I can honestly state that I enjoy this aspect of the game. I really enjoy the beef and cattle and that kind of thing. There's nothing like it for me. The crops are okay, but I prefer the more tedious beef, cattle, that kind of thing. So yeah, you guys will see a lot of that on here. I really enjoy feeding the animals, bucking them out. Uh, you'll see more on wheels, let's plays, and streams of actual combining and that kind of deal. I'll probably do a lot of his carting for him. Uh, a lot of his bailing, that kind of deal. That's more where I like to play. I'll do a lot of the forestry as well for him, because I enjoy that. I know it sounds weird, but I do. I did firewood up here for three or four years, up here being eastern Canada. So yeah, let's uh, see how well we can do this for it. I did just turn on my lights and apparently I had my beacon on, but it actually glows through the cab, which isn't that great. So that is one flaw with these 700 series trackers. But I really love the 700 series fence. They drive real nice, They I like how they bounce, they operate real nice. I have found a couple nice John Deere's that didn't handle as well as these. Um, in real life we have not a fent I wish um, it's a I call it a knockoff tractor it's an LS tractor it's a 90 horsepower front load tractor that we do absolutely everything with uh, it's currently our only tractor in our fleet there has been talk of possibly purchasing a skid steer uh, a smaller front load tractor because we do need a second one Right now we have a guy that lives in the front of our property is also doing like a hobby farm where he has a couple head of cattle that he's brought in and set up so we'll pair up with him when it's time to actually bring in our head and he'll come out with us and we'll hay it, we'll cut it, bale it, do all that work and he'll haul it for us because he needs some of the bales as well. So we've been doing that but we've been trying to potentially be self-sustaining where we no longer need him so that is our plan is to make a purchase of a either skid steer or something smaller so it's easier to get around in the corrals and stuff like that so I'm just gonna go down here to the BGA um, if you guys haven't seen this map before Go check out Wheels 24/7 on YouTube. He does an amazing map review of this map. Uh, it's a really good map done by Stevie. I guess I was reading on Stevie's Facebook page that the initial plan for this map was not to be released. He was original concept of it was actually being pre-designed for 17. So I'm definitely going to be looking for this map out in 17. this backed into the shed merger. For some reason I'm not the greatest at backing up the implements. They do still tend to slide. Get a little bit out of my hands. So this is a merger, I've actually had this merger for a while, and uh, I've just never used it. I didn't like the looks of it at the time, I didn't know how capable it actually was to really do anything. I 
and then Wheels and I were playing on a smaller map. Uh, there was one on there that he had downloaded from the actual Farm Sim website. And it worked really well, and we were saying to each other, you know, I really like how this operates and how this works, maybe we should try to find a bigger one. Well, I ended up finding this one in my folder. It was actually on Mod Hoster at the time. I do believe it still is, because I did send Wheels a link not that long ago to the Mod Hoster for it. So that he could download it. But it works really well. I really enjoy it. It's definitely different. Um, it's definitely something you do see in the U.S. Uh, in real life, I should say, in the U.S. In Canada, I wish I was around a lot more of the farms, but I work all day. I don't really get to go out and drive around during harvest time, which I wish I could. Wish I could be in the tractor and help them out. But you can't always do what you want to do, right? If we could, we'd all be YouTubers or Twitch streamers. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a nice design, definitely works really well. I do like a lot of the features from it. I do like how it makes a nice windrow, nice tight windrow as you can tell. Uh, it does seem to stack as well, so if I was to merge two rows together, I know there is loss because that's on Giant's end, which I find is absolutely ridiculous. I understand there is loss in a real field but not as much loss as what they have. I have probably now lost over half of my yield because I've actually rode, uh, mowed this with the Moco mower in my stream yesterday, so it should be archived on Twitch. I'm gonna see if I can't download it and archive it somewhere else or see what I can do with it to edit it. But uh, I did mow this field yesterday and then I used this merger to merge it which was fine, and I tried just direct grass baling, but that didn't work out very well. I had massive, massive lag issues where I couldn't even move in the game. For some reason it's giving me a weird texture design here in the grass, but that's fine. I'd still like this merger anyway. So we're gonna get this done, then I'm gonna start baling it for square bales. Um, there's a lot to, that can be done on the map. We have harvested a lot. Uh, one of the fields, which is probably one of, the, one of the bigger fields on the map. So we've harvested field two, which was barley. It is currently sitting in its windrows still. Uh, Wheels wants to do a recording on it, so I'm going to wait for him. Because this is a multiplayer server, so we do have some of it staged for what other guys want to do as well. But we're going to get that build, see how many bills we get off it. Most of it's probably going to be sold. I'll probably keep a handful of bills around for bedding for my animals and that kind of deal. Uh, field 1 is currently planted with wheat. It has yet to be harvested. I'm just up here, I'm cutting half this field right now for hay to see how much I'm going to get off it. I need to fill up two mixed feeders right now for hay and I might throw some into each sheet. So yeah, I'm going to get back to work on this, and uh, take you guys along for the ride. I do know I am getting pretty excited with 17 coming out. I think there's going to be a lot of nice features that I have seen so far from the dev blogs of what 17 will be bringing to us. Uh, they've added new cattle to the game, new tractors to the game, a whole new interactive motif to the game where from some of the videos that I've seen you can actually get out of your tractor, walk up to the farm and throw your coolers around, and physically move objects. Uh, the default, the new default bale trailer in game from Giants is actually going to have lockdown straps. 
So that is going to be a major plus because anybody who's played this game understands that without lock locking scripts, there's a lot you really can't do. It is annoying to try to move bales. That's why a lot of people don't. They'd rather just use the forge wagons and move it that way. And that's why we ended up with forge mixers that are stationary, which is fine. They do have them in real life as well. But there's nothing like, you know, a tow behind mix wagon and having to get up in the morning and do you know, all your bales for the day. Well, I guess you really wouldn't get up in the morning to do your bales for the day. Do it during your harvest time, but uh, yeah. I should want my window to come out. Right side, I guess, not the one. Which is backwards, actually, now that I see it. Try to keep my loss that I'm already going to have back to a minimum. I know if I try to stack these again, I'll just get more and more loss. So. sure how I want to do this as maybe chore update or daily update I'm not really sure just yet um, if you guys have any suggestions or want to see something specific done just give me a holler drop me a line but let me know what you would like to see um, I do know I want to bring you as a lot of people say some of the more boring stuff but this is farm sim Everything's not going to be, you know, oh, look at me go, I'm hauling cattle today. Well, that's part of farm sim. That's part of farming. Not just farm sim, but farming in general. Uh, you watch guys like George Saunders and those guys. They don't always have, you know, oh, we're going to cart today. Well, some people find carting boring. Some people find it relaxing. Uh, I actually enjoy carting sounds a little weird, but I do. I enjoy emptying out the harvesters and running it back to the farmyard, knowing that as soon as that harvest is off the field, if it's wheat, barley, soybean, or rye, but I can bale it. That means I get to pick up the bales. Um, I do use a little bit cheat, cheaty locking fork. It's not really cheaty considering giant's physics. Uh, in real life, when you put a bale on, the bales are heavy enough so that they don't just slide off your fork when you turn. Or if you stack two bales, the one on top of the other, they're not going to just, you know, fall apart and slide each direction every turn you make if you make them right. But Giant's aspect in physics is, well, too bad, you can't stack two bales. Even though you should be able to easily stack two square bales. Uh, hauling two round bales, that's a different story. I do enjoy the round bailing aspect. I do hate how they roll though. I really wish in 17 that Giants gets that right. I understand they do roll real life too, but not as bad as what Giants makes them out to be. I dropped my wind row on the left side this time. This right here makes it a little bit easier to bail. And then when I come up the other side, I'll drop it down again on the right. Which I should probably be dropping down on the left side again. And then on the right. But, hey, we're going to do it this way make for some interesting lines coming back. Yeah, 
yeah, some of the features to this map are pretty nice. Um, if you are one of those guys that likes to play with soil mod, uh, it is soil mod ready. It's damage control ready as well. We have turned those features off because we are on a server. And it is sometimes just impossible to try to track who sprayed what when how much moisture is on a field, if it's been sprayed, if it's been rolled, what's going on, or what we're doing that way, because we all work different schedules. As you can tell right now, it is noon my time in real life, and it's currently 0.22 in the morning, so I'm doing a little bit of late night merging. Uh, if you watch anybody else on YouTube that does most YouTube games, farm sim games a lot of them would have actually sped up the time by now so it'd be nice daylight for you guys and of course my phone's gonna go off in the background so like that. but uh, yeah if you watch any of the guys that do this real life the other day I was watching George Saunders for instance and he was out it was quarter to five in the morning and he was still out bailing for the day I should have a couple more passes here and then I'll pause the video for a little bit because we are getting up on the 21 minute mark right now. Which I know this isn't the most loveliest 21 minutes of farming, but you know what? That's part of farming. Sometimes you're not always going to have, you know, George out there picking up the bales with, you know, someone else in the corner harvesting right away. Sometimes you have to do the slow, steady, and tedious stuff. Making hay, which is fun. I do wish some days, though, that uh, you didn't have to tether. I do know when we made our hay bales this year, it was nice and dry. So we raked it first with just our wind rower in the rows after we mowed it. And then we actually went back and the next day raked it again into... Uh, another set of rows and that was more than enough to turn it into hay the third day it was drier as dry as could be so we actually built it that way we didn't even need our tether uh, as far as I understand we actually just sold our tether because we didn't use it so that's one thing about the guy that I do work for if he doesn't use it he sells it and then realizes later that we need it so we try to buy another one Usually we end up buying better than what we bought the first time anyway, so. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are excited yet for 17. I know a lot of the concept for it is pretty good. I really wish I could figure out why my joystick keeps turning every time I hit the brake seems I have conflict I'm guessing in one of my axes for my joysticks because I'm running two Logitech Extreme 3D Pros. This way here I can do the forestry bit pretty smoothly as well as run my front loaders and everything else. I do need to invest in or acquire track IR. I think that will actually be pretty neat to have in this game. I'm hoping 17 actually has it integrated support for it. I think that will help Giants take their game to the next level of simulators. I mean, why not? You look at games like American Truck Simulator, uh, Euro Truck Simulator, Project Cars for instance, they all have it integrated into their engine to support track IR. I do know there's several people that run track IR for farm sim, and it works pretty great, but you have to backdoor third party program it to get it to work. It doesn't always work properly. I do know some that do recordings with track IR 
well, head tracking, I should say, not really track IR. I don't know what they use for sure. But I think it'd be a pretty neat feature if you're in a cab and you want to look left, you turn your head left and your character looks left. Uh, if you're loading stacks of bales, you need to reach up over top of your cab. You look up and your character looks up with you. Gives you that whole realism look. It'd be kind of nice that if you lean forward though, that you would swell in game lean forward. I have driven forklift for several years, driven tractor. I've done a lot of this. I've never driven a combine um, or done that aspect of it. I would enjoy that, I think. I know some people say, you know, it's that initial that initial thrill, once that is gone, then it is over. But I'm one of those guys that actually enjoys doing some of the weirder jobs. I have done snow removal. And anyone who's done snow removal in Canada knows that is not a fun job. You are gone for 36 plus hours most storms. For, and all you do is push snow. Well, I enjoy doing that. There's something about it when you know you get into a bank and you try to push. You know what? You're not going to be able to push all of them. But you'll find a way. So I think at the end of this row, I'm going to pause the video. And uh, that'll be it for tedding. I'll finish the ted. would have finished my tethering that I had previously started when you guys joined me. I have then merged the field and got it ready for bailing. I could have used, I guess, the follow me mod, but I don't have a second tractor that I'm using. I do try to keep myself limited to one tractor, one truck slash lorry uh, when I need to. This way here, if one of the guys does decide to come and join me, then I'm not using up all the equipment. And they're capable if, you know, they want to do something else that's different, they can do that. If they want help doing it, they'll ask. Uh, we are a great group of guys. I do suggest if uh, this content I'm bringing out to you isn't as entertaining as you would have enjoyed, but you actually enjoy this part of it and you want to see some of the pre-steps or aftermath of what's going on, go check out Wheels 24-7 on YouTube. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, if you're looking for mod reviews and he's just starting doing some let's plays, go check out Buckshot on YouTube. I'll also put a link down to his channel down there in the description. Uh, those two are two of the guys that I do game with on a regular basis. I talk to on a regular basis. Uh, if anybody has seen their streams or anything like that, you would have heard me talking. I am a moderator in Wheels 24-7's uh, chat as well. So we have done several things together. Last night actually we did uh, a stream on Wheels' channel of us playing Construction Simulator 2015. I'll tell you now, I can't wait until that's archived because it is going to be hilarious. But yeah guys, I'm going to take this back up to the BGA. I'll hook back up to the baler. And uh, I guess I'll call it here for the episode. So if you guys like the comment that you, or like what you see, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to rate it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more. Or you know what, if you guys didn't like it, just let me know down in the comments below what you'd like to see me do. Maybe different topics to talk about. I am definitely not a YouTube kind of guy. Uh, I figured I'll try this as something different. I've done Twitch for a little bit. had several followers over there and just real life has been kind of busy for me so i figured i'd give youtube a shot and see how this works out so don't forget guys comment rate subscribe let's see if we can get the sun coming up at midnight that's yeah, not gonna work all right have yourselves a good one